Hello! Welcome to this week's AMA videos, Aweber and Campaigns. So if you joined Aweber a little while ago, you have two options. Um, I'm, I've joined ages ago. So I have a follow-up series and I have campaigns. If you're new to Aweber, um, they have discontinued the follow-up series option and now they do it all from campaigns so you won't see this option you will literally just have campaigns so the question that I got asked was about um, somebody had set up a freebie and they wanted to know how to actually get that freebie to their client uh, using Aweber and then they wanted to send a number of messages afterwards uh, following up with them to um, engage them and encourage them into their middle level service and you do that via a campaign so um, I pay for Aweber so I use different lists um, however Aweber has just come out with a free plan and if you're on the free plan you can only have one list so if like me you pay for Aweber you would have a different list for each uh, download and a sign up form on whichever one that you want them to sign up to. If you're on the free plan, what you would need to do is um, you only have one list, so you're gonna have to do your campaigns from tags. So what you have to do is you have to create a different sign-up form, and then when you are in the sign-up form, so you create your sign-up form, uh, here it says add tags to anyone who submits this form. So you would then have a tag for each um, thing that they're downloading. So say you created an ebook, um, let's call it the amazing ebook. So you create the amazing ebook and then you create your sign up form on Aweber so that people can sign up to it. And then you tag everyone that signs up with amazing ebook. So when they fill in this form, they'll get that tag. Then what you do is you go to campaigns and you create a new campaign. Create a blank one. And this would be your amazing ebook. Okay, so here uh, you've got an option. You can either tell Aweber to start this particular campaign when somebody subscribes to your list. So if you're paying for Aweber and you've got different lists, you would create, you would say, start this campaign when they sign to the list. If you're on the free plan, you've got one list and it's on tags, then you would say, start this when this particular tag has been applied. So pick whichever one is right for you. And then here, you will build your campaign. So this is telling Aweber what you want to be sent and when. So you just drag these options in. So they subscribe to your list, you then want to send them a message and when you create this message um, you want to then give them the link to download your um, book. So you're going to have to put it somewhere because the options in Aweber are you can do it via a button or you can do it by a, a hyperlink. So you're going to have to put it somewhere. You could put it on Dropbox, you could put it on OneDrive and share it, or you could put it on your website. As long as you've got the, um, a URL link to link to it from one of those places, then you can do this. So if you drag a button, then you would just put the URL in here to wherever it is and put... Um, your download so we're amazing ebook so you could put click click to download the ebook and then you put the URL in there um, if you don't want to do it by a button that's absolutely fine uh, you can do it by text so you can put uh, click here and then hyperlink it and you've got a little hyperlink button here and put the URL in here and press OK. So you can do it either way, by words or by button. So that would deliver them their thing that they have asked for. Then that would come back to your campaign and then you want to wait. So you want the campaign to wait and here you've got minutes, hours, days, weeks and months. So say you want to wait uh, two days 
and then you want to send them another message so then you create another message and this message might be you know did you get the download um hope that you've enjoyed it give me some feedback kind of thing and then you might want to wait another few days or a week wait a week and then send them another message and you just build it up like this however it is that you want your campaign to be and what will happen now when once i save and exit and once i set all this these emails up um so um now when you sign up to my ama uh it will say you've signed up to this list follow this particular campaign um, i'm going to delete that just so that my ama clients don't get it um so yes so that is how you would set up a series to um go out to people to a deliver their freebie and b to then engage with them at intervals along the way